Singapore to test self-driving trucks. Singapore has announced a partnership with Toyota and Scania to develop and test a self-driving truck platooning system that can transport goods between its shipping ports. The truck platooning system involves a human-driven truck leading a convoy of autonomous trucks by wireless communication. The trucks can be coupled or decoupled to allow other cars to cross between the vehicles. The trucks are also equipped with vehicle detection and anti-collision technologies. The initial test route is a 10-kilometer stretch along the West Coast Highway. Singapore, which is fully devoted to developing self-driving technologies, conducted the world's first public trials of self-driving taxis in August. Here are other things that can drive themselves. Norway and the UK building world's first unmanned ship for offshore ops. A Norwegian shipyard known for making waves in green marine technology is now set to build the world's first autonomous ship for commercial use, Krun. As an unmanned vessel, Trun will be remotely controlled, keeping humans away from potential dangers at sea. Trun will be designed for a variety of missions, such as hydrographic surveying and support for open water fish farms. The ship will also be used to transport light, intermodal cargo, and make deliveries to offshore installations. When acting as a standby vessel, Trun will be able to provide firefighting support to offshore platforms when needed. Construction of Run is scheduled to begin in January 2017. It will then be put through sea trials, with plans for it to be available for field operations in 2018. UK Insurer develops lights that follow you around. UK Insurer Direct Line has developed a mobile street lighting system that travels to locations requested by users. Fleet lights are drones that are fitted with lights and arrive at locations marked by users who request them through an app. The request would be processed at a local control center where an operator would assign and dispatch available drones to the user's location. The drones would fly autonomously to the user's location with the lead drone communicating with the user's smartphone while other drones would continually reposition themselves to light up the user's path. Users can send the drones back to the control center via the app when lighting is no longer needed. Fleet lights have been trialed in the English town of Petworth, which the company says has the most dangerous roads in the country. The company says it has already received inquiries as to whether fleet light drones could be used in search and rescue operations. Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers, but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heated, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see traffic jam autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. 
Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off, find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away. Uber driverless truck delivers beer. A driverless Uber truck loaded with 50,000 cans of Budweiser made an 120 mile journey across Colorado last week in the first commercial shipment by a self-driving truck. Auto is Uber's self-driving truck subsidiary. Its vehicles can drive autonomously on the highway, leaving the driver free to do other tasks or relax. Auto's Volvo trucks are retrofitted with LiDAR, radar, and cameras, which collect data that onboard computers translate into driving directions. The self-driving trucks maintain a safe distance from other vehicles and only change lanes when necessary. The technology only works on the highway, so drivers are still needed to navigate trickier city roads. The company believes that in future, self-driving trucks will drive on the interstate with human drivers handling the last few miles into town. Trucks haul 70% of freight in the US, but the industry has a shortfall of 48,000 drivers, which could reach 175,000 within 10 years. Auto hopes that driverless trucks can make up the deficit of drivers, reduce emissions, and increase efficiency. It also thinks driverless trucks will make roads safer because human error is almost always the reason behind the 400,000 truck crashes in the US each year, which claim 4,000 lives. So I guess we can all drink to that.